So I'm back to do the stamping and inking of the wee scenes inside and out of the squash card. So we'll start with um, this wee retired set. I know, but you could choose any wee animal, you could be a duck or whatever you want yourself. Um, just get it. And we're going to, as you can see, with every stamp set I make out my wee mask, so I always have them ready to go. And it just saves you a lot of time if you do it at the start round, say, wishing you had done it earlier. So ink him up um, in Memento. And with your card, we're going to go on a line, sort of, not halfway up, but a wee bit up in the center. And just stamp that. And while you have that inked, you may as well do the inside one. And he's at the very bottom of the inside one. Oops. And then you can just mark them off together. So we'll pop that out of the way and we'll start with this baby here. Um, we're going to start um, with the scare, or the sound, sorry. So you want to mask him off. You can colour him in now if you feel like it. I'm just going to rush through and do this and colour them up later. So I'm using one of my paddles. This one is for the yellow and I've got my plastic sheet down to help um, organise me. So I'm going to put him in a line where I want the sound level going. I'm just going to ink him up. And the so saffron I'm using, which I like for a colour of sand, it's nice and bright. So just colour that right out. That should give you a good horizon line of the sand there. And then we're just going to go in with, um, well, well there are we yellow of your other wee boy we will fit out and it's just a wee slim pickings of sand across the bottom there. So do the same again. Oh, don't forget a mask him. Line up where you want the sound and just go in. That should do him. So we can pop this away and we'll do this for you. Give that a little chance to dry a bit. So that was so saffron. And we're going to go in now. I'm going to use Pool Party for the water and then I'm going to use Seaside Spray for the sky. So I have my blue one, which is going to be used for both of them. Clean this yellow off in case we mix it in. So dab it in. Again, I'm giving myself a horizon line of about here. Just make sure that you've got him kind of straight and then go in with your, your ink. And I'm going straight across this time just to give the look of the sea. I'll have to turn that a bit to give me a better go. Just build that top bit up first. And don't worry if you've left some whitey bits because it looks like the light shining on the water anyway. So I'm going to bring this round, I don't want to get blue onto my yellow, line that up and then we can go back in and fill that in. You could do ripped paper here if you want, sort of edginess to your sound, but I just went with the straight lines for pure speed and convenience today. So when you're happy with your colour, Leave that and then you can work on your clouds now using the other colour. 
substance. Give your paddle a wee rub to get some of that residue off. You don't want to go washing it and then working with the wet one. So this is seaside spray and we're going to do our clouds. So I'm going to start sort of here. Now this is a cloud template that I made myself out of a piece of plastic. So make your own or use a bought one. Either way, it all works. You can make one out of cardboard or whatever. I just used the bit of plastic that I had laying. And just go over with the seaside spray and you get a nice wee cloudy effect. And we'll go up. And go back in. And I think I might might do one wee one in there just very gently and one in there just because I don't know when to stop <laughs> so that's as cloudy day now should have done the same when I had them out shouldn't I well there are clouds here when we have them now Having as much uh, area to cover with this one, so will I have room for another set? Maybe. Scoot it over. So we're going to go back in again with our party like you can just wipe off your paddle and give yourself a horizon line and pop your mask on so we want our sort of C going here and again we're going straight across And I would just fill in the top closest to this uh, stencil before you move down. Just the same as the last time. And just turn your image around and line it on that yellow edge so that you're not interfering with it. And then just fill in the rest of your blade. So we have two wee um, images there. I'm going to keep my mask because I just love my mask. Um, for this I have cut one of the wee, the smallest um, yachts out of the designer paper and I'm just going to pop it on with a glue pen which is good for tiny wee things fit through these things and just set it sort of just fractionally below the, the line of the sea there. It just gives it a wee bit more decoration. And he is simply being coloured with um, crumb cake, dark and light. So I'm going on the dark and just doing his wee mitts. I don't even know what colour these boys are supposed to be. We'll just make them sandy looking. Same on this one. Quick as lightning. Going in with my bullet end this time just to add that wee bit. 
to soften where you put the darker edge in just by going over it and it gives it a lovely wee finish same in this boy cute wee face hasn't it so that's those two things finished so we just simply pop this on want this one raised up a wee bit i think it raised it up no it didn't i'm not going to bother then we'll just pop it on with glue because we're raising the sentiment up excuse the messy table and just line that up making sure your horizon's kind of straight and then we we'll have our sentiment that was stamped and punched earlier in the other video so go back and check it if you haven't and we're just going to sort of cover the bottom of your and centered and that's him and then the inside i think i kept it flat on that one too didn't it yeah oh i forgot to do my stamping so you need to stamp um but here's some money anyway and we're stamping it where i use the shape totally forgot about this so i'm gonna line this up i haven't got my stickers on this so i'm really bold doing that but i'm gonna line it up with those lines as best i can without getting in your road and hope that's straight and then get your knight of navy Pink it up and sure have a practice run. Yep, not too bad. Re ink and put it in here just above. Is that right? But here's some anyway. You can sort of use the line of your horizon to hopefully keep you straight. There you go, it's not too bad. Could have been worse. I really am a slow crafter. I'm not very good at speed crafting. So we're just going to stick that on flat too. And then again, stick it inside the card. Just keep everything flat so that your card closes nicely. Open that out, give you a bit of space. And if you use that watery glue that I like to use, the Kalal, um, or Kalal, whatever way you say it, it allows you a bit of room to move things about. Don't have any sticky stuff keeping your card open. And there we have it all decorated. The money's inside, child's name's there. Keep your center points pushed in and that pulls all the rest of that in and there you have two lovely carrots for the boys so hope you have a wee go at it and thanks for watching and if you did miss the squash carrot you'll get a laugh go over and, and have a go at that video and i'll catch you all next week bye